It's a soft gray. Ah, there's some ruined footage. All right. Greetings, fellow mountain bike enthusiasts. Welcome back and welcome to the side of the road by Falls Creek. We're doing a little something different today. It's uh, XC day. I don't know if you can see it, but those are kind of ominous looking clouds, but I think it's going to be fine. We got cue ball and Michael here. We're waiting for the rest of the folks. It's a full gas e-bike day and uh, yeah, should be good. It's going to be like 20 plus miles and 2000 feet plus climbing, but it should be should be something different. So yeah. Right, well, this is actually the last day of summer. First day of fall. One of those two. And the cloud cover is definitely reflecting that. And uh, I have no idea where we're going. I know we're going to end up on Falls Creek at some point, but uh, yeah, we're just riding. <laughs> All right, entering the trail. Well, I think this is one of the connector spurs here. So yeah, I've only ridden this trail, Falls Creek itself, twice. I've never done this route that we're doing, so I am, you know, not leading this ride. I am just on along for the ride, as they say. Rumor has it we are descending now. <laughs> kind of put him through the test. <laughs> Bird, bruh. Gotta make your fun where you can find it. <laughs> ah, lies. This is not descending. <laughs> now that could have been bad. Ah, sneaky uphill. Fuck you, sneaky uphill. <laughs> Branch in the face. Dusty. Threadsy needle, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this 
is one of the many, well, maybe not, but a couple of the Falls Creek lava tubes. That's fun to say, lava tube. How many years ago was this? Supposedly there's caves somewhere down in there, but uh, yeah, this is not the one. oh, this is not the cave one. So this is the small lava Sorry, tube. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. Sorry, right. we're Sorry seeing that. lava tube. You know, how much did we pay for this tour guide? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want a refund. <laughs> 90 percent all right so now we've got a more impressively deep lava tube yeah there's a cave that goes down inside there everyone say hello, hello. <laughs> nice <sighs> And we have hit the viewpoint. I can fix them pretty easy. The point of view. Well right, we're at the one of the better lookouts up here. Getting close to our turnaround point. We're just over 10 miles and just over a thousand ish feet of climbing. So we get to kind of do it all over again, but different. Corners. There, so soft. Oh yeah. Oh, dust. Dusty. <laughs> it's hard to know when to start the camera. It's like boring, boring, saucy. Boring, boring, saucy. I mean, it's fun to ride, but it's not fun to look at. Making our way back, doing some gravel grinding. Feel like I need a handlebar mustache and some drop bars, then I'd be cool. Okay, well, it wouldn't be cool, but I'd have those things. All right, we've come off the fire road onto supposedly a descent, a sort of descent like, descent ish. Has some descending qualities. Ooh, ooh. Drifting's a back end, bro.
making our way back to the van. I think we just have a little bit more ahead of us. There's some gravel boy stuff. There's gravel. But uh, yeah, we're real close. And just like that, we are back at the van. 20.1.2 miles, 2,400 feet of climbing, two and then two hours and 20 minutes of riding. So yeah, that was a very solid day. I'm very stoked to get out here and get this ride in because you know it's gonna rain real soon and then all this will be under snow. Once again, thanks for riding with me and remember, RSD, rubber side down kids.